The violence in Manipur is a complex issue with a long history. There are numbers of different factors involved, including ethnic tensions, political disputes, and economic grievances. But the current violence has been ongoing for several months, and the root cause of the conflict being the rivalry between the two main ethnic groups in Manipur, the Cookies and the Metis. One of the main grievances of the Cookies is that they feel marginalized and discriminated against by the Metis, who are the majority ethnic group in Manipur. The Cookies also feel that they are not getting their fair share of resources and development. On the other hand, the Metis are concerned about the growing influence of the Cookies and other tribal groups in Manipur. The fear that the Cookies and other tribal groups are trying to take over Manipur and turn it into a tribal state. By now, we are all aware about the ethnic violence of Manipur, especially with the video of two women being paraded naked by women by a mob which went viral on social media, sparking nationwide outrage, including Bollywood celebrities showing great concern about the unfortunate happenings, making headlines internationally. So when and why did this happen? Here is a timeline of the violence. On May 3, according to reports, violence erupted during the rally in Torbung area of Churachanpur when more than 60,000 people turned up for the Tribal Solidarity March called, uh, called by the All Tribal Students Union of Manipur to protest against the inclusion of Métis in the ST category, many were killed and injured. Following on May 4, brutal and rampant violence was reported with burning of villages, mob lynching, rapes, etc. The Rapid Action Force was deployed along with the Army, CRPF, Assam Rifles and the State Police to contain violence. Government issued a shoot at sight order in, ex in extreme cases, whereby forms of persuasion, warning, reasonable force have been exhausted and the situation cannot be controlled. The video of the two Kukizomi women being groped and paraded naked, which recently went viral on social media, is said to have happened on this day. With more violence reported on May, May 5, and following May 6 to 7, displaced residents migrate to Mizoram and Assam for shelter. Army deploys helicopters and UAVs. Vigil increased at Indo-Myanmar border. Evacuation of people into camps continues. On May 26, curfew is relaxed. On May 29 to 30, Amit Shah visits Manipur and holds discussion. He announced creation of judicial commission to probe into the situation. Following that, on June 10th, Assam CM Himanta Biswa Sarma visits Imphal. Centre constitutes 51 member peace committee under Governor Anusia Yuki, including CM Biren Singh and representatives from both Kuki and Meiti communities. On June 12th to 13th, some Kuki and other tribal organisation quit the committee over the presence of Biren Singh. On June 14th, official residence of Minister Nemcha Kipgen is burned down in Imphal. On June 15th, Union Minister for State for External Affairs and Education, R.K. Ranjan Singh's residence in Imphal was burned down. On June 18th, people broke radios in Imphal during the airing of Modi's Man Ki Baat, as he did not mention Manipur. On June 19th, Manipur High Court issued a notice to the central and state governments seeking their response on a review petition filed by the Métis Tribes Union. The review petition was filed after the Supreme Court said that inclusion of or exclusion of any community in the reservation list was Parliament's prerogative and that the President and the High Court had no say in the matter. On June 20, Supreme Court declines urgent hearing of petition seeking army protection for minority Kuki tribals and for the prosecution of those attacking them. Following that, on July 5, after a long span of violence and disturbance, schools were reopened. At this point, normalcy was on the verge and situation was expected to mend. But it was on July 19 when the nation witnessed an extremely terrifying video of two Kuki Zomi women being paraded naked in Kangpokpi district going viral on social media. According to the complaint registered by the police, one of the victim's brother and father were murdered by the mob. 
One of the victims said to the Indian Express that they had been handed over to the mob by the police themselves. The very next day on July 20, taking Suomoto cognizance of the video, the Supreme Court said the videos indicate gross constitutional violations and infractions of human rights. According to reports given by I.K. Muiva, Inspector General of Police, so far there have been 175 deaths, 1,108 were injured, 32 missing and 5,172 arson cases have been registered. The Office of the Chief Minister of Manipur has issued a notice ordering returns of all arms held illegally by any persons or groups in Manipur within 15 days. The Chief Minister ordered dated September 22 stated that the government of Manipur is willing to take a considerate view of people who return to the illegal arms within said period. After the stipulated date, the government, state and central force will launch a strong and comprehensive operation across the state to recover the illegal arms, the notice also stated. After the stipulated period, people associated with the illegal arms will be severely dealt with the notice stated. The government noted reports on, of threat, extortion and abduction by individuals and groups using the illegal arms, the chief minister stated. The government has called this a serious matter that will invite strong action in any part of the state. The Manipur government has appealed to the people of the state to cooperate with the state and central government to restore a normalcy to the state. As of latest update and on the current situation, Chief Minister of Manipur N. Biren Singh on Saturday 23 announced that the state government has identified three priority points to be taken up immediately. Elaborating on the three points, the Chief Minister said the state government is considering the permanent closure of free movement regime with Myanmar. A committee will be formed consisting NCB and NAB to destroy the poppy plantation in the state and capturing of biometric data of illegal immigrants in the state will continue. Earlier, the Chief Minister also announced the restoration of internet services in the state. 